Do we have any answer on what what's on Donald Trump's? Like Donald Trump has has uh, his his hands are yeah. bleeding. Looks like he has is a that sore. Magic marker? No, is it magic marker? Because it looks like he has a sore on his index finger there. I don't know. I, maybe yeah. it's magic marker. The internet has gone into full sleuth mode to basically figure out what the hell is wrong with Donald Trump's hand. Now, as former President Donald Trump left Trump Tower for the E. Jean Carroll testimony yesterday, people were quick to notice the red splotches on his hand, which literally looks like blood. He literally has blood on his hand. Now, some people were quick to make jokes saying that it was the jelly from the jelly donut that he ate, ketchup from last night's McDonald's run, red ink from secret documents. But some people, like Democratic operative James Carville, took it in a completely different direction, let's watch. If you go to the Drudge Report, and I think it'll still be up, there's a story that talks about Trump having hand cuts, and you can link to it. They don't look like cuts to me, they look like sores. And I've asked a number of MDs what medical condition manifests itself through hand sores, and the answer is immediate and unanimous, secondary syphilis. All right, I think I think there's a good chance this man has to clap. You know, maybe the picture was doctored or whatever, but I, maybe this story goes somewhere. Maybe it won't. But I'm telling you, at one o'clock Eastern, I'm humping this thing like a young dog on old furniture. I okay. Uh, wow, I've I've never heard the phrase secondary syphilis. I didn't know what that was. It's universal. Every doctor agrees. <laughs> Every doctor. They okay. just look at that picture. They go secondary syphilis. So apparently it's not a different type of syphilis, it's the same disease, it's just a different like stage of the disease. And according to the CDC, a reddish rash can be down on one's palm during the secondary stage. And it's sometimes so faint that you won't, it's not secondary syphilis guys. Like, Well, hold on, hold on. Now we're gonna have different theories and we're gonna give you facts here. This is okay. so dumb, okay. So I looked up famous people who had syphilis. Oh my God. Okay. Hey, and Donald Trump was the first one to come out, so it must be true. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, so uh, th these are theories: uh, Christopher Columbus, uh, Al Capone, Hitler. Now the Al Capone one is pretty much confirmed. Uh, and but what happens? Uh, Nietzsche was a possibility. What happens at the very end of syphilis is you lose your mind. It, it uh, you become deranged, etc. That's part of the reason why they thought maybe Hitler had it, but Capone definitely did, and uh, etc. So. Uh, Donald Trump, a little deranged. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Okay. In all seriousness, where the hell did he get syphilis from? Okay. So I look. Actually, wait a minute. He did have unprotected sex look, with the, uh, you know, with I don't uh, care. adult actresses I don't and care. stuff. Like, right, anyway, seriously, guys, this is the the only serious part of the part of the story. And I'll get. There's we'll get, a serious part to the yeah, story. Yeah, there is, okay. and I'll get back to why he. I think he has uh, the marks there on his hand. But the serious part is. If Biden had that right now, every MAGA guy would be convinced for the rest of time that he had syphilis plus gonorrhea plus AIDS, etc. Yeah, they would, and we would make fun of them. That's right. Yeah, and we, right. they, we would see them as unserious people. So, that's like, right. why so, do we want to join that cohort of unserious people? No, my point is A, we don't want to join them. Correct. Okay, Correct. so. Be care, like, don't listen to James Carville. Like, I Carville, when he says Biden can't win, he's right. He's talking about facts and numbers. In this case, totally making up secondary syphilis and saying all the doctors agree, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't be like MAGA. On the other hand, MAGA, do you see what happens when the shoe's on the other foot or the bloody hand is on the other hand? Like, when you guys make cuckoo stuff, you all believe it 100%, right? Mm -hmm. But when they say it about Trump, I guarantee you every MAGA guy's outraged. I can't believe it. How dare you make up things? You guys do it 24 7, right? So, like, we're full blown idiocracy at this point. I know. I think that's why I'm so, like, Look, I don't care if people are having fun, whatever, do you, do you have fun? I guess I'm just sick of the circus, you get what I'm saying? Like I watched that MSNBC segment with like a billion, like really you need a, a panel of 25 people to discuss Trump's bloody hand. They, they sound so stupid and it's just embarrassing. Like I'm sick of the circus, I just, I'm at a point where I look at the country and I look at everything that's falling apart and I want things to get better. But they're never gonna get better because everyone's distracted by the sideshows. Who gives, who cares about his bloody hand? It's, 
He probably- well, There is a second serious point there. there. Okay, because all of these politicians are super old, right? So Mitch McConnell had a bruised hands. So people are like, oh, that's weird, why does he have bruised hands? And then people are like, I oh, don't worry about it, it's probably not a big deal. And then a couple of weeks later, Yes, he had that neurolog likely neurological issue. Right. Yeah. So he had some issue. People said, "Oh, it's not that big a deal," and then it turned out it kind of is a big deal when he started freezing in front of the press conference. So look, these health issues for these two hundred year old politicians are an actual problem. But I don't think this is one of those. And mm -hmm. the political system has secondary syphilis. That's that's yes, that's the real yes, problem. Yes, okay. absolutely. The, the entire system has become syphilitic clowns. So, okay, now what's the real answer? Probably very likely what the doctors actually say is dry skin when it's cold is very very normal and sometimes it could do that. It'll crack, it'll you'll crack, etc. Mm -hmm. and sometimes blisters, etc. But the other thing is Donald Trump plays golf. And so that looks like the part you'd hold the golf club if you had dry skin and you have friction from the golf club, that's exactly what your hand would look like. The easiest explanation by far the most likely. Mm. Man, I gotta say, winter is really not friendly to your skin. Oh Yeah, I have incredibly dry skin. Oh God, yeah. it's the worst, nothing helps. Anyway. And then I hold up my hands, they're all bloody. <laughs> <laughs> Secondary syphilis. Anyway, we No, gotta... totally fine, totally fine. Okay, all right. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us, become a young Turk.